Welcome to my crazy life. It's Vlogmas. Today is Monday the 18th. I brewed up some of the peppermint chocolate tea that I got in my advent yesterday. I have the fireplace on. It is cold. Oh uh, yeah, I have crazy hair again today. Um, I haven't tried this because it's hot. But I did go to the office this morning and then they kept saying snow, snow, bad snow. So I came home at lunch. My call, I sent myself and my employee home at lunch and no snow. I mean, yes, it's been like a snow squall here and there, but there's been no accumulation. So that was a bust, but whatever. Let's open up some Advent, shall we? Um, let's open this one. Are you ready for the question? You know, we're doing good. In the movie Elf, what was the first rule of the Code of Elves? I don't know. The first rule is to sing loud for all to hear. Treat every day like Christmas. Wah, wah. Treat every day like Christmas. I'm sure half of you knew it. I did not. Let's see if this tea is drinkable yet. It's okay. I just don't like chocolate in tea. But I'm not going to not drink it because it's freezing. All right, Jesus. It's the 18th. Where are you at? That's the ninth, uh, 18th. Uh, another wise man, and it says, ah, shoot, it's dark. Harold, uh, Herod inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Jerusalem. So, Mary, did you know? Oh, I didn't look inside my advent. He just opened the question. Okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh. This might make me happy. It's going to make me happy. Trash bag. Oh, it's a foot roller. It's a massage ball, hot and cold. And I get um, plantar fasciitis and you roll this and you can make it hot or cold. So I'm assuming I can microwave it or put it in the freezer. So I walk a lot of miles when I work my part-time job at the stadium, especially on cement. And I have ended up with plantar fasciitis. So, my Sarah is a smart girl. Oh, here we go. There's a hole in the middle. Okay, there's directions here. Okay. Open, fill it with hot tap water. Or cold tap water. So, I'll show you. Let me put that over here. There is a place where you can stick a quarter and pull the top off and you can fill it with hot or cold water. But honestly, for me, I think just rolling my feet. Just rolling. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That feels good. It hits all the muscles and the little bumpies on it um, are like acupressure. I like that. I could bring it to work. Good job, Sarah. Good job. Also, this would be great to bring on an aeroplane or traveling because if you're walking a lot, I just saw my own reflection. It scared me. Um, you could also take it on trips with you, you know, especially like if you're walking a lot in the city and you can roll it on your foot. Perfect. All right, let's try this again. Cause I'm freezing. I mean, it's good, it's good. We'll leave it at good. 
18. Guys, we only have one week until Christmas. And then what am I going to do every day? When I don't have a present to open or 10 every single day. All right. The cheese of the day is <gasps> double Gloucester. I liked this one. Double Gloucester. Delicious. So I have that with dinner tonight. And what's happening in our woobles? And I've done, oh, we don't have one today because I took the crochet hook out to make my woobles. So I don't get a gift today. Wah, wah. That's two. I mean, it's fine. I could have put the hook back in it to open it, but yeah, I still think this is in the wrong order. Um, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Don't get me wrong. My, no, I was watching YouTube and Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch got the Jimmy Beans wool advent and it's on the same concept as this, but they get little pieces of actual wool yarn and they can, they get directions to crochet or knit each item and you, they make little ornaments. So, but it's either knitting or crochet either way, however they want to do it. So maybe we'll look at that next year. If I'm not getting, cause that got, you know, they got their crochet hook out the first day. And then the next day they got some yarn and directions. And it just seemed like it was in the right order. Okay, day 18. I'm behind again, or still. I don't think I've really ever caught up. Day 18. Even if you don't get the chance to physically travel, visit amazing museums or beautiful cities, a good book can transport us immediately to a different world. Today, we'll share some of our favorites on the YouTube channels. I love traveling. <laughs> what are we doing today? I mean, I don't know how we're going to beat the squirrels of yesterday. I don't even know what I'm stitching today. Squirrels were yesterday. Ooh, this color. Oh, Carrie. Royalty free. Look at that purple. And that is beautiful. But what am I stitching today? Ah. Eyes. I think I'm stitching eyes. Yeah. I think that's it. Maybe next year Jacob should like each day that we're stitching make those super dark black or highlight them some way so I'm not spending too much time hunting down what are my stitches. I mean, it's fine. I am loving this stitch. So maybe if I get to this color, I will show you. Oh, don't be losing that, Lori. And I did show you that, and I did that, and I opened that, and I'll eat some cheese while we talk. So I made something good last night, and I'm going to have it again tonight, because that's my baby. Come to the fire. So, most of y'all are my age, according to my demographics, or close. Did you grow up where your parent made salmon patties from canned salmon? My mother used to. And she would open the can, pull all gross stuff out, and then she would add breadcrumbs and egg and seasoning and make patties and fry them. So the egg and whatever else she put in, I don't remember. And the it would be the binder along with the breadcrumbs. So that would make your patty and they weren't terrible I remember eating them growing up um now I'm not a huge fan of salmon it's a, it's very fishy to me but I know it's good for me so I bought frozen salmon so at Sam's Club I got a bag and it came with a bunch of frozen fillets individually vacuum sealed so I can take out one patty at a, or one salmon fillet let it defrost and cook it which is perfect for me so yesterday I took one out and I let it thaw and I cooked it in the air fryer until it was done with some seasoning and then I shredded it up, you know, like you do, and I let it cool. And I made salmon balls, so sort of like a patty, but because I'm keto, I can't use crackers and all that. So I took the salmon, flaked it up, I added an egg, I added some mayonnaise, I added seasoning, 
but it was a little moist. Like it, you know, because there's nothing to absorb anything. I don't have bread. So I added mozzarella cheese to help bind it together. And a few ground up um, pork rinds. I got some pork rind panko at Walmart. They sell it already ground up. So I added a little bit of that and then I took my cookie scoop and I scooped it out and put it in the freezer till it got firm. And then I took an egg and some cream and whipped it up and dredged the balls that were solid. They weren't solid frozen, but they were firm enough. I dredged it through the egg wash and into the um, pork rinds. And then I ended up going back to the pork rinds a second time, but not wetting them again and rolled it up and kind of packed it all really good and put it back in the freezer for several hours until they were frozen, frozen. And then I cook them in the air fryer. Guys, they were so good. And then I made some aioli or tartar sauce, mayonnaise, lemon juice. I don't like sweet relish, so I use dill relish. And then I put a little bit of herbs. Um, I think I used green goddess seasoning in it. Oh, so good. And that was dinner last night. And I have the rest for tonight. So one salmon patty got me like 12. I mean, they were, you know, a decent size ball. And they cook up in the air fryer and I let them get real crispy. Oh, and when you eat them, the cheese, and mozzarella cheese has really little flavor. So the cheese really just acts more like a binder. I know some people don't like to mix cheese with fish, but I needed something to bind it. And mozzarella was it. I could have added Parmesan cheese too to like absorb, but I felt like that has more flavor than mozzarella. So I went with the mozzarella. I don't know. This tea, is, it's, it's growing on me. Is it something that I'm going to go out and purchase? No. But will I drink it? Yes. It's freezing in here. Plus, I don't like being wasteful. So, my lunch that I packed today is in my office, still in the refrigerator. And I will eat that tomorrow because um, I left before lunch today. Right? I know. All right. I think that's everything. I need to put away my cheese and I need to put away my advents and I need to edit this video because it is after work time. It's five o'clock, well, 10 after five. So I'm gonna drink my tea, edit this video, and by edit, I mean upload it and save it to YouTube. And, but I have to edit it. I have to send it to my editing software first and then save it, compress it, cause it's too big. Um, with my cell phone. So yeah, that's what I'm doing tonight. And then I'm going to sit in my stitchy spot and I'm going to enjoy the fire and hot tea and stitch. And I, it's snowing and I'm not going outside. I don't have a reason to. Mm, so good. All right, everybody, enjoy. Uh, later this weekend, I will show you my... I'm making a snowman cheese ball to take to my nieces for Christmas and probably some meat and cheese. So I'll show you that. And then after next week, we get back to our regularly scheduled programming. I'm going to try to do some more DIYs this year, but I can't guarantee you they're a little time consuming, but I'll try. All right. Bye.